welcome back to my kitchen guys today i'm making some aki and salt fish with ground food sweet potato yam and cornmeal dumpling if you want to see how i create this dish just keep on watching Here I have some aki. I just remove the seeds, clean up, and just coat them in oil and put them in my freezer. So I'm just going to put them in the boiling water. And I'm also going to put a few pimento seed in the water also. Okay? And put our aki to boil with salt. A little bit of salt because we're going to use salt fish. Here I have some my dough for my dumpling. I did it off camera. Also, I boiled my salt fish off camera. I have video on all these, so it makes no sense repeating the same process. I also cut some seasoning off camera. But you, I will go through them later on, okay? Okay, guys. Here I have a piece of yam. I have no banana today. Sweet potato. And I'm just going to peel these. So we can put in our pot. Because the water already boiling, okay? Just peel these. So you can put in your pot. It's not, it's not good, good quality like what we had back home, but at least I can get something from it. So I'll just peel these, cutting size my liking. And put in my pot. And a tip, guys, if you see that your yam going to turn red, just squeeze a little lime in the water, and that will cut away the, the the color okay here my water boiling guys i'm just going to put my yam so they don't change color on me then we can peel the sweet potato okay and and make our dumplings time to peel our sweet potato not even these are good quality guys Look, as I peel them, they change color. I'll just peel these and then I'll come back. Okay, all peeled. Now we're going back over to the stove, okay? Let me put my sweet potatoes. Then I can make some dumplings. And remember I showed the, the dough for a dumpling earlier. I'm just going to make some small dumplings. We don't need no cartwheel. <laughs> because I'm not a dumpling fan, but you know. So I just rolled it in my hand. Then we just press. See? Like this. And we continue. Let me stir. And 
and cover and we allow those to cook okay let me check on my aki here i have my aki boiling guys and remember i put some pimento seed and a little bit of salt okay guys now to fry up my aki and salt dish i'm going to add some oil to my pot Remember the season that I showed earlier. We have tomato, we have bell pepper, we have garlic, we have a piece of thyme, we have scallion. And of course, some pepper and pepper. So we're just going to allow our oil to eat up. Then we all add all these goodies in the pot. Okay? Just allow them to saute. Then we can add our salt fish. Okay, guys, now I'm going to add my salt fish. And we just stir that a little with our seasoning. I'm going to add some some black pepper yes now time to add my aki time to add our aki guys and I still have my pimento berries in. And just stir to combine. And I'll add a little more black pepper. And of course, some garlic powder. This is garlic powder, guys. And we just stir to marry all these delicious ingredients together. I'll add a little bit of all-purpose seasoning. We don't need a lot. And we we'll stir. Okay, guys. All done. Now let me turn the stove out. And check on my food pot. Here's my food pot, guys, bubbling away. And I think we can share. And here is my finished dish, guys. My aki and salt fish with yam, sweet potato, and cornmeal dumpling. Hope you guys enjoy this video. For my new supporters, thank you so much. And for my oldies but goodies, I appreciate you all a lot. Thank you all so much, guys. Until next time, guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye for now.